Canada's Prime Minister has warned President Putin's decision to invade Crimea and annex it from Ukraine could give the green light to other nations to arm themselves to the teeth. Harper is the first G7 leader to visit Kiev since pro-Russian President Viktor Yanukovych was ousted from power last month. All of us who desire peace and stability in the world must recognize that the consequences of these actions will be felt far beyond the borders of Ukraine or even the European continent itself. During a joint news conference, Ukraine's acting Prime Minister Arseniy Yatsenyuk said that the Kremlin's actions undermine a widely recognized international treaty which both prevents the spread of nuclear weapons and encourages disarmament. Let me remind you that in 1994, my country abandoned by its free will the nuclear weapon. At that time, we, put, we possessed the third biggest nuclear arsenal in the world. And what has happened? One of the signatures of this notorious Budapest Memorandum invaded my country, violating international law, violate, violating multilateral and bilateral deals, and actually undermining the entire global nuclear non-proliferation system. Experts argue that the treaty on the non-proliferation of nuclear weapons has been weakened since Russian aggression began. Ukrainians now believe giving up their nuclear arms in 1994 was a mistake, adding that if they had them now, the Russian incursion wouldn't have occurred. As the US continues to threaten further sanctions on Russia, officials from both countries have been quick to emphasize that cooperation on Iran's nuclear program and destruction of Syria's chemical weapons is still on track. However, the US and EU's responses to the crisis in Crimea are widely perceived as ineffective, with countries like North Korea and China set to have more leverage against the West in the future.